Jolene, we will try this again. I don't know why my camera is not recording. Anyways, this is my mini book reviews of three books that I just finished since the last video. I finished Scarlet Undercover by Jennifer Latham. I gave this a three star, three out of five stars. And this has to do with a 15 year old Muslim American girl who has already graduated from high school because she's very smart and she is like a Veronica Mars. She likes to solve. She's an investigator. So a nine-year-old girl has hired her to find out something going on with her brother. Her brother's been acting strange, and a teenage boy had committed suicide on a bridge. She thinks her brother knows what happened or is involved in on it. So she hires um, Scarlett to find out what happened, and Scarlett goes undercover, and she's finding out there's a lot of bad things going on. And a lot of it has to do with Muslim beliefs and um, religion and something that has to do with jinns. So I um, liked it. I got a little, um, a little confused, should I say overwhelmed a little bit with some of the Muslim um, beliefs and the religions. And it went, it's not all throughout the book, it just explains a little bit. But um, it was a good book. And then I read um, a Nat Galley book called The Day She Can't Forget by Meg Carter. I gave that a 3 out of 5 star. That one, each chapter is either the present or the past. And the past is like 1974, 76. And this girl is, I think her name's Amelia, Amelia, I can't remember now, I'm bad with the names, I don't have a cover for it, because it was from that galley, anyways, she was found on the side of the road with blood on her, she can't remember what happened that night, she knows who she is, she knows about her life, she's a divorced woman with a child, um, her father had passed away, and she's finding out things about her mom. Her mom had died during childbirth, so she's finding out things about her mom. Drinking my orange spice tea. She's finding out things about her mom, and so she goes on the quest to go find this person who supposedly can give her answers. And the storyline was really good. I just, I couldn't connect with any of the characters. I just, I don't know. I almost DNF'd the book. I was, it was very slow moving until I got about 50% into the book. And then it picked up a little bit. And then I wanted to finish it. So it was a little slow. And then I read today Trapped by Crystal. Crystal has her own booktube channel called Crystal the Bookworm. Um, I was a beta reader for this, so I'm also in the acknowledgments in the book, which was a complete honor for me. It was an honor for me to read it as she was writing it. She did change the ending since I had read it. Her editor had her change the ending, so um, the rest of the book was the same except for the ending. And... Um, it was really good, but um, Candace is 19 years old. She has, she was always abused by her dad. She had him arrested, and while he was being arrested, he found out that he had cancer, and he had he died of cancer while in prison. And she's always been in love with her next door neighbor Damon. And Candace becomes a fashion designer. And she also has a split personality that came to be while she was being abused. And she's supposed to be taking medicine to make that person go away, and it doesn't exactly work out that way. So um, the ending is a little bit of a shocker. And I highly recommend this. I gave this five stars. Crystal did an awesome job. I have some more of her other books in Kindle form, and I cannot wait to get to them. 
and I highly, highly recommend this. She's, I love watching her booktube channels. She, she is so fun to watch, and go watch her, go watch her booktube channels, and I would pick up this book. I highly recommend it. And that's all that I've read since the last video. I will be putting up two more videos today. Also, one will be um, my January book haul, and then I will be putting up my February TBR. So I did pretty good for January. I finished 12 books. I started a 13th one. I, I know I won't finish it tonight, but um, I'll probably finish it tomorrow. And then... Um, February is romance erotica books, so um, that's what will be on my TBR for that, so keep a lookout for that one as well, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.